Here in Glenorchy we're 45 minutes drive from Queenstown and in the event of a big earthquake there's pretty much a 100% chance that the road will be closed, where there's a lot of steep cliffs and so on and that will mean that if that happens at the peak of the summertime when the tracks or the hiking tracks up here have got a lot of people on them, there could be up to 800 to 1,000 people more in the area than they, that they're going to need food and housing and Camp Glenorchy will certainly be playing a part in that. Camp Glenorchy has been constructed to something called the Living Building Challenge which is an environmental advocacy tool and the world's most rigorous building performance standard. We're building to the Living Building Challenge to meet environmental sustainable construction goals but as a result of that the buildings and the development as a whole is actually a very resilient uh, development which is lending itself to resiliency for all kinds of emergencies including earthquake of course. The community itself has goals to become a resilient community and the campground is really um, helping to fit into that and providing a, one of the resources available. Okay, the elements of the build that are contributing towards resilience are our 200 kilowatt solar farm generating all the electricity on, on site. We've got 30,000 litres of rainwater storage. We are using composting toilets throughout that continue to be used in the event of no power. They also don't require any water. We have uh, one large building that is built to a higher level of earthquake resistance than uh, typical. That building will be able to stand up in a large earthquake and still be able to be used. That um, we hope will be able to be used as a welfare centre for the community. A big part about Camp Anorki is contributing to the community and having these resilient factors in our development is going to benefit the community in the event of an earthquake.